Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Cleveland's favorite barber, Big Wave, the boss. It's a few going on feuds between barbers and barbershop owners. And what's going on regarding booth rent being too high. And another one is barbers coming in late and leaving early because it's not enough walk-in traffic, in their opinion. When I talk to barbers about this, I always have to speak in terms of money because money is a universal language. I'm going to use an example. Haircuts in our region, Cleveland, Ohio, are roughly between 30, 35 bucks, 40 with the tip. So if you come in late and leave early and you miss one client a day at 40 bucks in five days, that's $200 you miss. You are missing $800 a month and $9,600 in one year, and that's just missing one client a day. Most likely when you come late and leave early, you miss more than one client per day. And it's very hard for shop owners to be sympathetic to you when you tell us booth rent is too high, when, you, when, when we see you come in late and leave early every day, or some days you don't come at all. Lastly, let's discuss the quote unquote appointment only barbers. If you are not booked back to back with scheduled breaks from the minute you walk in the door until the minute you leave, you are not an appointment only barber and you are able to take walk-ins. So stop missing out on that money. If you have a four o'clock appointment and a walk-in comes in at 401 and asks you to give them a cut, you need to take that walk-in. Hopefully your appointment will be a little mad when they come in and they see if you have someone else in the chair. But that's his punishment. He's just going to have to wait. You will not lose any money that day because you took the walk-in. He may go to someone else, but at the end of the day, you lost no money. Doing something like this may seem counterproductive to you. However, it shows that you have policies in place and you adhere to them. The client will respect you more, and, he, and if he does not, then those are not the type of clients you want anyway. In business, sometimes you have to take two or three steps backwards in order to take three or four forwards. Once again, it's Cleveland's favorite barber, Big Wave the Boss. Peace.